is Ginger from the beach, part three. This is my fourth attempt to make the anti-bullying story about my life. I've had a really hard time making this video. That's why I just keep repeating it. Um, so I'm going to just start at age five since I've already cried and whimpered. Maybe I can get through it. Bob, um, in Kentucky, we go to school. First and eighth grade is all one school. And so, when I would walk home, I was this little strawberry blonde, very, very petite. I think I weighed 50 pounds until I was 10 years old. Um, so, the kids, the older kids would like, um, throw rocks at me and call me redhead, and I'd rather be dead than red on the head. Okay, so we got physical and emotional abuse, and then I couldn't hear, so I had like a speech problem, and I started um, just not talking. Like, I remember from first to fifth grade, I stopped talking, because I was getting abused from my adult family members and the kids at school. So, to me, it was just easier not to talk. Uh, the, my adult family members would ask me to say words, and, and then they would make fun of me. I know that's not cool. I never would have did that to anybody. Not even my family, certainly my family members. But I guess they got to get a lot out of it. Um, I once said that I was placed here on Earth um, for two purposes. To only birth my children. My children are gorgeous. They're beautiful. Um, I have to show you pictures of them today. They're just unbelievably beautiful. Um, but okay, let's get to eighth grade. Eighth grade is. Did I tell you about my ear surgery and my speech? So I started talking. And so eighth grade, I, I was approached by boys. The boys were white boys. They hated me. They said that I was too white and I was filthy. I was in a new school so I didn't know where to sit. So I sat in Tim's chair. Never forget your bullier. And um, so I sat in Tim's chair. He said I was filthy to make sure I Clorox it. I can't whisper. He would whisper in my ears. I hated that because I knew that something bad was coming. He whispered. He said don't ever wear black. You're too white to wear black. I'm like, um, okay. 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 Like, I'm, I'm female. I'm not going to fight you. I'm not going to try to fight you. I'm just going to stay quiet. Um, ninth grade, it was like, there's no way I'm going through this again. And yes, I did try to exit out, and it fell. And thank you, Jesus. I complained like crap that I had fake stomach aches so I could stay home from school and be homeschooled and that saved my life, my ninth grade year because I don't think I could have took another year of Tim and his group of boys that hated me. Um, then when I returned to school, okay, very quiet, uh, but I did tend to make friends. I've always made friends with people that was mistreated, so, you know, my brother was so kind of ugly to me. He'd be like, he tells my kids, like, yeah, your mom would always friend people that's ugly to make her look good. And I'm like, no, I friended people that people mistreated because I know what it feels like to be mistreated. Um, then uh, the bullying continued. Uh, South Carolina, um, hillbilly self. I'm from the Appalachians. We have our own dialect. And I didn't know the correct words because we have our own words in Kentucky. We really do. I'm not kidding you. Look up Appalachian dialect. Okay. So, the Billy Self. And then, uh, that was the work. My co workers. And then, even though I have, like, college degrees, I got licensed in the field that I'm in, several licenses. I was kind of um, pegged the dumb blonde, and I don't know if it's because I'm just like, I'm really bubbly, and like, I'll, I'll sing the Miley Cyrus, and 
totally cool with, I worked with kids, so I was like, very cool with the kids, and kids loved me, and the adults, they hated me, because I would be like, interacting with the children so much that they just felt like I was going too far beyond and giving out too many toys. Okay, well, I'm sorry for rolling my eyes about that, but um, we deal with some children that was in poverty, and if I gave them two toys and we're making billions of dollars, I don't see how that hurt anybody. But anyway, so flash forward, uh, my kids are now grown. I work very hard, family days, vacation days, um, kind of go with shoes. Um, oh my God, I love them. I'm like crazy. So my son, um, he, everybody's inside they don't like me. My son, I said, why, son? I love you so very much. He said, because you smother me with love. Okay. <laughs> Still see, I just smother him with love. I, I love my kids. I love everybody. So, my daughter, recently, she decided, oh, she took me less than dirt. You all would cringe. Um, she said that I'm crazy. And I said, okay, you know why you're saying that? Because you've never been mistreated, abandoned, beat, or anything bad for me. So you just pop out a word crazy. So I really think that my purpose on this earth was to be mistreated. I don't end bully. I don't. I still continue to have it even today. So. Um, I think if you're a guy, like the little cute guy that I watched, his anti-bullying, he muscled up, and I just think geeks are cute, and I think everybody's just beautiful, but, and redheads are coming back. So, this, I think, will stop a lot of the bullying for the redheads, like the fair skin and the redhead. I think you're going to be fine. Hang in there. Because we got, like, people, you know, like, this new Disney movie that's coming out. I think that's going to be super for the kids. Um, but anyway, that's my story. Um, I'm still hanging on by the grace of the man upstairs. And this is Ginger coming from the beach, part three. And I love you all.